guys what's up it's me your girl alisa from stylishcurse.com and today i am back with a new video so today's video is going to be about my two favorite edge control gels that i personally think really work because you guys know that i don't think any edge control gels work especially for african-american hair but i've managed to try enough of these so-called edge control gels and I found two that personally work for me. So today I'm going to share them with you and just give you a little mini review on why they are my personal personal top two favorite edge control gels. Alright guys so when it comes to edge control gels I believe that they need to work when your hair is not at its best so they work edge control gels work really well when you just got a relaxer or if you are natural you just got a blowout or you just freshly washed your hair and you know you are straightening your edges or your hair i feel like that's when they actually do work their best but for me I, what i look for in edge control gels are those gels that work when my natural roots <laughs> are starting to raise on up especially for me because i am relaxed so for me when i'm in between relaxers i definitely need an edge control to keep my little edges laid to the side as best as possible um so that's what i personally look for when it comes to an edge control gel so my personal two favorites are dr miracles uh, this is their edge holding gel and I'm hoping the glare is not blocking it so you can see it I'll hold it over here maybe and then my second favorite is from dark and lovely and this is their edge revision sleeker so these two are my favorites for a couple of reasons so I'll start off talking about dr. miracles edge holding gel since I tried this I personally this is just for me and my hair as this is why I'm suggesting it <laughs> I felt like this honestly worked the best this is my my I would say my number one edge control gel to use especially when the edges are raising so I purposely didn't um slick my edges down for the, for this video because I'm going to show you how I use it um since I am I'm not necessarily in between relaxers I probably have my relaxer now two and a half maybe going on three weeks now so my edges are still pretty straight but you know it's definitely beginning to to start you know um wearing down and, and the little peppercorns are ready to pop on out so <laughs> i definitely want to control them especially when i have extensions because i definitely don't want the ex you know the weave to be nice and straight and then it's like all you know crinkly and rough here so anyway and i'm okay with that because i i mean if it raises up it's fine so i don't want anyone thinking i don't like you know the natural curl of my hair which is fine but with certain hairstyles i want my edges laid to the side and that's just that so anyway <laughs> not to ramble so the dr miracles edge holding control gel is a favorite because i feel like it holds for a good amount of time so if i put this on in the morning i'm gonna say this gives me a good four to six hours depending on the humidity outside um that it holds my edges down and because it's a nice little compact size i don't have to i can throw this in my bag so it's it's not a big heavy edge cream that's weighing down my bag or anything i can totally just throw this in my bag and if i need a touch up i can just touch it up what i also like about this i'm going to open it so you guys can see what it looks like and i'm hoping the glare from the lights doesn't mess this up <laughs> but it's a clear it's a clear gel as you can see and i'll just put it on the back of my hand so you can really see what it looks like so it's a clear gel and it has um it has like a, a stiff uh consistency to it and i also like uh, what i like about it is that it doesn't necessarily leave a white film like some edge control gels can do so i'm gonna tell you the edge control gel that i don't like uh, which is ORS. ORS, I hate that thing. I really gave, listen, I, I use ORS for like a good month. When I try a product, I try to give it the benefit of the doubt, even if I feel like it's not working on day two. But I personally just feel like the ORS leaves a, an unsightly white film <laughs> on your edges. And especially if you use it multiple times, your edges are looking white and flaky. With 
this I don't feel like it does that with this I feel like if I use it multiple times let's say if I use it for two days in a row back to back I don't get that white filmy flaky look like I did with the ORS so that's also one of the number one reasons why I like this so the next edge control that I like is the anti reversion I said revision <laughs> the anti reversion edge sleeker and this is from dark and lovely now a few last year in October I was invited to be a part of family dollars um, beauty event here in New York City so dark and lovely had a booth there and they were showcasing some of their new products and this was one of them now I like this because it looked I was intrigued <laughs> at the pro at the packaging so you would never pick this up and think this is something that's going to tame your edges why because it looks like a mascara so when they said no this is our new um edge control gel and it's called the edge leaker and it looks like a mascara so of course I was intrigued like oh you know like a kid like oh my gosh I must try this so I decided to try it and I actually wound up liking it no dark and lovely doesn't sponsor this or anything this was just a free gift in my bag I wasn't asked to write about it in case anyone's wondering I'm just telling you that I used it and I liked it and the reason why I liked it is because of the mascara brush it has a very small thin um, brush so it really gets your edges nice and sleek and I like this best for when I do have a fresh relaxer or if I just got a fresh blowout I definitely like to use this because it definitely also tames the flyaways so that's why I like Dark and Lovely's Anti-Reversion Sleeker. Now Dark and Lovely says that this gives you an 8 hour smooth control hold. I'm going to say maybe not a full 8 hours because again it depends on the humidity outside. It depends on what you're doing. Um, you know if you're working out this is not lasting. <laughs> you know your edges is going to be nice and sweaty. But if you were just like going through your day, keeping it nice and cool, um, you will probably get maybe a good four to six hours of smooth control out of this. And like I said, I like to use this for freshly relaxed or a fresh blowout. And then I like to use this when I'm in between relaxers and it's almost time for me to get the relaxer, but not quite yet. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I use Dr. Miracle's Edge Control. I hope you guys can see what the packaging really looks like because this light. Anyway, so again, it's a clear substance. And when I use um, this, I like to just take a little bit of it. I take a tiny bit and I just like to just dab it on my edges and right now my edges are really growing out I've been trying to grow them out because it runs in my family that we have um, weak edges and especially in the back of, of my hair so I'm always careful and I try to you know just keep my edges moisturized so this way it helps with growth and helps to stop breakage but so this is what I do I just you know, um, put it where I need it to lay down. Then I like to take a fine tooth comb like this, a rat tail comb, or if you have more of a fine tooth comb, I like to take the comb and just spread it through. And I just do it very lightly because again, you don't want to pull your edges. So I just try to do it very lightly. Oh, I missed a little right there. <laughs> so yeah. I try to do it very lightly just to blend it through my hair so again it doesn't have like you know just white spots on on my hair so I do that and I just comb it through so as you can see my edges are getting longer look at that <laughs> um, and then what I do is I like to take a brush which is not here I'm gonna go get that in a second <laughs> All right, so I got my brush, uh, it's a little beat down, but <laughs> I like to use this brush because it's a firm brush, but being that it's firm, because you really don't want to pull your edges, I just like to just brush it softly, and I brush my edges back in the direction I want them to go. can actually just use a tad bit more. Yeah. 
Again, just blending it out. And then I just like to comb it through again. Just make sure everything, make sure that I caught everything. And I just take a brush and I just brush it behind my ear. And then I just keep smoothing it out with my fingers. As you can see, it's smoothing out. And then what I do is I just put my hair over it. And then as you can see, my edges are now laid down. And you can see the difference of here versus here. Now, I'm gonna show you how I use this. So again, I really like to use this, the um, Dark and Lovely Anti-Reversion Edge Sleeker when I have a fresh relaxer or I'm like only two weeks into my relaxer. And what I like to do with this is, I like to use this, um, especially in the front part of my hair because I have it brushed up. So this is how this works. Let me make sure I got enough on here. So I just dip it in here. And then what I do is I just brush it. Let's see, I just brush it, brush it. Right. Now you see how it like really just like picks up and straightens the hair. And then again, now this one because the brush is already on it, all I do is just smooth it out. And then I just put my hair over it. Fix that. Yeah. Right. And I just make sure that it's just nice and smooth out so you don't see, you know, any um, whiteness, <laughs> you know, in the hair. And then as you can see, my edges over here are laid and are laid over here. Now, what I also like about this brush is I like to use it to help tame flyaways because sometimes I get little flyaways. And it just takes down whatever little flyaways I have. If a hair is out of place, I also like to just do that. Just lightly do it so, um, you know, your flyaways are gone. These two seem to just work the best for me and my hair. So I just wanted to share with you guys in case anyone was looking for edge gel, edge control gels that work. So that is my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like that and you want to see more um, reviews on any hair care products, um, definitely let me know. Again, leave a comment down below if you've tried those and if those worked for you. Um, and then also if you tried something that I didn't mention and you're like, girl, you need to try this edge control because it trumps those two. Definitely leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to check out the blog for plus size fashion and celebrity style, stylishcurves.com. And you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, all under at stylishcurves. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.